Hey everybody, this is uh, Rip Fletching, and we're going to be looking at the Badger Broadhead. This is the 125 grain. I'll try to let you guys look at all the packaging here. Just got these in from my friends at Turbo Knock, Nick Snook, the owner there. This is a product that, uh, let me try to get this where you guys can read it here. Sorry. It's not going to focus. Um, they're a really interesting broadhead, and I thought we'd check them out and uh, open them up for you. And then what I'll do at another day is uh, do some, some shooting and testing with it. And we'll look at some of the penetration on that. And that's from Medicine Bear Archery. <clears throat> from Georgia alright so uh, you guys know who they are and what they do so now let's uh, let's open them up I'm sorry the video the quality is not real good down here I'm in the basement and just don't have good lighting so you just gotta take what you can get on this guys for today it's supposed to be pretty sharp so we'll, we'll check them out and see all right, here they are. Some interesting. Yeah, I'm using the uh, dryer here as a back backdrop. Interesting. Check this out. Yeah, they spin the broadhead. It's pretty awesome. Sorry, I'm trying to get where there's some light, y'all. I do not know how I'm in the light. I'm on the opposite direction. This is 125 grain. Single bevel broadhead. Looks like a little tornado going through the air. That's pretty awesome. So it's supposed to just not only have a spiral going through the air, but once it hits the meat, it wants to continue that spiral due to the design of the broadhead. So hopefully I'll get to do some testing on maybe some water jugs or something. I think that'd be pretty neat. Do the, the jug test, see how they drain out. And look at the uh, wound channel on that too. All right. If you guys ever have any... Um, and ballistics gel you want to send this way we'll shoot it through that too all right so next thing we'll get on some arrows and shoot them all right catch you guys later